I got my dude Tracks a Million in the building. What's up, big dog? What's up with the kid, baby? Yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself, who you are, where you from, for the people that don't know. Man, you know, it's your boy Tracks a Million. I'm in the building, man. If you don't know me, man, I'm from San Jose, California, yeah. South Bay. Shark Tank. Shark Tank, raised the Shark Tank. Shark. Oh, you from the Shark Tank, too? Uh, I just know people from the Shark Tank, man. <laughs> they got shark teeth. <laughs> But shout out to the Shark Tank, San Jose, where you from as well. Uh, you're actually one of the biggest, uh, to me, one of the biggest producers out there in San Jose that mm -hmm. actually made it out there. So let's go into how you started. Like, as Tracks of Men, when did you start actually doing what you do? Man, I actually started rapping. I started off rapping oh, wow. uh, really like in, in, in middle school. Are you gonna still? Are, are you gonna rap again, or are you, or what? You I, I still get down now. Oh, okay. You know, like on my projects, like if you, check out. My project, yeah, if you check out my projects, I'm, I'm actually getting down on a couple of my projects. But I really, I started in middle school. Yeah. In a rap group, and that uh -huh. was really just kind of involved. What was the name of the rap group? Chaotic Soul. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what? It was like underground hip hop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right yeah. Here. Hip hop backpack rap. Yeah. You know. What year was this? When I was young, so, yeah, when I was <laughs> back young, in the day. Uh, back when I was a, a youngster. Okay, so now you start doing this, developing your skills as a rapper. You're not a producer yet? Yeah, I'm not a producer yet, mm -hmm. but I'm just interest, interested in music, and I do have I have a keyboard at home that my, you know, my grandma bought me. And, right. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm around the keyboard. Right, right. So you so you were effing around or playing around on the keyboard. Playing around on the keyboard. And um, then you started making beats? Then I started making beats. So, and I would just make beats in you know, the privacy of my home. Right. Listen to the radio and just kind of play songs that I heard on the radio. Wow. You know, just really just learning by myself. And right, just right. Of, you know, and play them out, listen to it, and try to play it. So yeah. you actually play keys and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh wow. So you were playing these keys and then you started making beats. When did you actually start making beats, like just making slaps? That really kind of came like around ninth grade. Ninth grade. You know, freshman year, I actually I was in another lab. Uh -huh. and I <laughs> <laughs> all these rap groups. Yeah, we're, we're, we're into another rap <laughs> every group. year. And um, I, I started producing. I, I produced a couple records for our, like our first demo. Right. Yeah, and we dropped that and in, 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 in San Jose. In San Jose. Okay, so you you. I doing... was going to Gunnison High School. In okay. San Jose. Shout out Gunnison. Shout out the whole four way. Listen, anybody out here? Yeah. Just play this from four way. Yeah. Shout out, baby. You know, Highlight like your cool. Shark Tank in the building. That's what's up. So okay, so you start doing your thing now. Okay, so you're producing. Mm -hmm. And who have you actually produced for at this time? Just these groups or? Hey, yeah. At this time, I'm just producing for you know, cats around my neighborhood. Okay. And me and my mom. Yes. When did you actually start getting your big break? Because after a while, I started hearing you on the radio, seeing you in the newspapers, and then after a while, you were like producing everybody's song. And I'm like, it was like, Tracks a Million, Tracks a Million. After a while, that's all I, I didn't even know who you were, I just remember the name. Right. Tracks a Million. Well, all of that really happened just, you know, after so long with producing songs in the hood and, and doing my own thing. How many songs? Shows. Man. One oh, thousand. Yeah, well, a, a thousand records. Okay. You know? Like, I, like I was doing shows. I was in an underground hip hop group. We were doing shows and all kind of stuff. But you know, yeah. Fast forward to the future. Fast I'm, forward. I'm, I'm making beats. Right. For the right. whole hood. Yeah. And, you know, the word is out that I'm just the dude with the beats. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So um, this cat came through, bought some beats from me. Uh huh. Um, two years passed. Never heard from the dude. Never heard the beats again. And you know, the beats came out on the album. A couple of like one of the uh, one of the beats I sold him came out on the album. So oh wow. Like, Somebody hit me up and was like, yo. You, know, you want an album? Yeah, somebody do want an album. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, well, what's this album? I go straight to Rasputin, buy the album, look at the credits, like, it's, it's my song, it's my beat. Yeah. I call it, you know, call the number up. You know, this is what I'm Your name was on there? Yeah, my name was on it. Oh, it was, wow. Produced by Tracks Me, and I was like, man, somebody took my name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm saying somebody took my name. <laughs> my boy's calling me, waking me up first thing in the morning, like, yo, yeah. man, somebody done stole your name. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> this new project got me got tracks me and I was like, nah, yeah. bro. So whatever, I go to the store, buy the record, check it out. Yeah. It's my beat. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I look at the credits, call the number on the on the album. Yeah. And get in contact and it, lo and behold, it's the dude that I actually Same sold, dude. Same dude that I sold the beats to. And he wow. was looking for me and I was like, yo, what's up? Bro? And they found each other by there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, when, what was this time? Uh, This was like maybe 2005. Five. Wow. Okay. So now, then that was the first song you were on? That was, probably, yeah, that was that was the first record that Release. I was on because actually the record the record uh, had Bone Crush on it. Oh what? And the record had BA from uh, Three Times Crazy on it. On that song? Oh yeah, on the beat. So yeah, for wow. me that was big. It was like from going from just producer records in my neighborhood in San Jose. It's a bigger cat. To going like, to somebody's The home. next level. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So 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 uh so the album drops right, and now uh what is the name of the song? The song was called I don't know. Okay. Know on the dope, the dope game, it was on the, the album was called the Dope Game, uh -huh. and um. Keith Sneak, yeah, it was, yeah, I think it was Keith Sneak, VA, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Bone Crusher on the record. Uh -huh. And I forgot what it was. Okay, well look it up. Tracks look it up, produced Google by. It. Yeah, on the Dope Game album, you can look it up, Google it. It's there all day. What do you do now? So now you're like, whoa, I'm on the album. Yeah, so now I'm on the album. <laughs> I, uh, I called the dude up, like, yo. This is my beat. He's like, yo, he's looking for you, man. Let's meet up. We meet up. I was looking for you. Yeah. We, we meet up in Walnut Creek. Yeah. And, um, you know, I basically was playing some beats. Blah, blah, blah. He said, yo, I got a situation with Keith Sneak. Yeah. I say, is the album done? He's like, no, it's not. I'm like, put me on. He's like, got beats? Of course I got beats. I give him a CD. You know, he plays the CD. He's like, well, let me play for Keith and let me see what happens. Okay. You know, he plays the beats for Keith, I guess, the next day. I'm at home, he calls me up. He keeps rapping over one of my beats. I'm like, oh, snap, I'm on the phone. I'm like, oh. You know what he say? You know, and at that time, he had white t-shirts, blue jeans, and Nikes on the yeah. radio. So, you know, and he had his album, Coping Them Out, and that was just smashing the streets. What was the name of that song that, that you hopped on? Um, No, 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 it wasn't Super Nice. It was a song called, not Cash and the Famous, like, uh, Something like, it was like Contact Sport. Contact Sport. Contact Sport. Yeah. Look up that. It was a record called Contact Sport. And when did this release? Like 2006. 2006. Oh, 06. So, okay, next year. Because the album Contact Sport ended up coming out with an album Contact Sport. Right. Like, album. We were trying to get our record deal. It came out. Other guys. Alright. Okay. That was nothing. That, that's crazy. He knows so, other that. Okay, that's what's up, so, man. Shout out to Jake, man. So, yeah, so Contact Sport comes out. I do, you know, I do two records with Keith, Contact Sport, and another one, I forgot what it was called. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, you know, we, we build a, a relationship. We like right. the beats, they like the songs, the yeah. coffee beats, so on and so forth. Uh, maybe a week or two or three past, yeah. I'm at my mom's house, in the bedroom, and I do like I always do. Yeah. My little cousins come over to join us. Yeah. And, you, know, <laughs> you know, they like 16, 17 at the time, they yeah. all into the turf dance, and they doing yeah. all the latest hypey dances. Yeah. Hypey movement, the hypey movement ain't really crazy, but it's just the turk dancing and the dancing is around. It, it, it's ab evoluting, it's, yeah, evolution. It's, it's, yeah, it's coming together. It's evolving. Yeah, it's evolving. That's yeah. what I was looking for. So, you know, my little cousins be coming with drunk, they dancing, doing all these hypey <laughs> turk dances and all this stuff. I'm like, man, I need to make something for these little, little cats so they can dance. You know, whatever this little dance they're doing, I need to make something for them to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they dancing, I'm kind of just tapping away. And yeah. They end up leaving and I just kind of sit there and I'm playing a dance moves through my head. Yeah, and yeah. You know, and I'm super hyped for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the beat that came out. Out at that time. At that time, in my mom's room, and that was the beat I made. I was like, yeah. it's kind of dope. Yeah. Dope. I'm looking to it. Yeah, it's dope. And, um, you know, I listen to it the next day. Yeah, man, it's dope. Wow. It's dope. <laughs> you know, I actually give it to a couple people. I give it to my boy. Yeah. He's in my rap group at the time. I'm still in the rap group. <laughs> Give it to my boy, give it to a couple other people, and we can the beat. Yeah. I called my boy who hooked me up with Keith in the first place. He's like, yo, I got this beat. Yeah. Play it for more over the phone. He really can't get the full feel of the beat yeah. over the phone because it's the bass. Distorted. It's, it's distorted. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, alright, whatever. He's like, alright, it's cool, but you gotta, you know, let me hear it in person. You know, I'm like, alright, whatever. <laughs> so I find out that Keith got a show in Santa Cruz. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just like, that's the car. I get the car. I'm like, Track three, bro. Listen to it. I, I, I pretty much left it at that. And then got in the car and left. He was like, "Yo, all right, cool, cool. You get some whip. They dip. They go do their thing. You know, like maybe like two or three weeks later, bro. My boy Al, he calls me up, like, listen to the song. He plays it for me. He's like, Man, that's crazy. And like maybe two, three days later after that, he calls me on the radio. Wow. And you know, from there it took off. Okay, so now you got hit on the radio. All right. What happens now? Everybody's calling you. At this time, <laughs> no, 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 not really. At this time, at this time, I got a hit on the radio. Yeah. And I'm working in the mall. Yeah. At Oak Ridge Mall in San Jose. Selling <laughs> cell phones. Okay. At this time, you know what I mean? Selling cellular phones for cellular wireless. Okay. That's what's up. Bugging people as they walk past trying to shop. Yeah. I'm that, I'm that dude. 
Hey, it's all good. So, um, got grind, man. So yeah, I, I, I got I got the song on the radio, and um, nobody knows. Oh, Nobody knows I did it. Yeah. Nobody, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of walking around. They know around. the artist, but not the producer. They know the artist, they don't know the producer. Yeah. Walk, you know what I mean? So I'm walking around. You know, every, I'm hearing the song everywhere I go. Every car. Dang. On the way to work. The store is next to me. The clothing store is next to me. It's slapping it. Slapping the song. It's <laughs> on the radio. It's everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, bro. I'm telling people, like, I made this. People, they don't believe you. People buying phones from me. I'm like, yeah, man. I made that. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't <didn't> make that. <laughs> so, and, um, so what well, happened? So, you know, I got fed up, bro. And I just quit, bro. I quit my job. Oh, I the, 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 the cell phone store. Yeah. Bro. Okay. I quit. I was like, hell with this. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Um, and then one day, I, uh, at the time, in Bassett was when I was cracking. I was in the 40s club in uh, San Jose. Right. I went up there and I was just, you know what I mean? I used to just go up there and just watch them play the record, bro, and just watch everybody go crazy. Like, Man, I didn't even know I did it. Excuse yeah. Me. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> and one day, I approached. Uh, DJ at the time, it was Big Vine. Okay. And I approached him and I was just like, yo, I'm the dude that did this beat. He was like, you? <laughs> Pointed at me, he was just like, you did? I was like, yeah. He was like, damn, where have you been I? What's up? And then another another week I went in there, 40 was in there. I walked up to him, I was yeah. like, yo, I'm the dude that did this beat. Yeah. He was like, nah, you? <laughs> you don't believe you. Yeah, and then That's it just funny. kinda it just kinda started from there. And I actually ended up meeting the hood stars at, at Ambassador Lounge. Yeah. I told them, yo, I'm the dude that did this beat. Again. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> man, we need to get something from this. <laughs> so yeah. um I hook up I get their phone number, they yeah. come to the studio like a week or two later, and um they get a beat from me. Mm-hmm. And that beat ended up being my next song on the radio, which was the grown man. Okay. Get your grown man on. Yeah. 